All right, you are watching DefenseReview.com. We are here with Maddox Defense, and we've got the Hawk biodiesel bike right here, and we are going to go through it. So, uh, Christian, please take us through this uh, vehicle. Sure thing. Uh, this is, this vehicle uses an inline three-cylinder turbocharged diesel motor. It's made by Mercedes-Benz. It has a, a, a great range uh, capabilities. The bike gets almost uh, 100 miles a gallon on the street, uh, 50 to 60 miles a gallon on, on uh, off-road. So you're you're doubling or even tripling in some cases the, the range of this bike compared to other motorcycles. And uh, because it has a, a diesel motor, you don't have to worry about having a separate fuel in terms of gasoline. It uses a continuously variable transmission, which is a belt and pulley system for the drive. And what the system does is it, it keeps the, the torque and the, the power band optimal pretty much from starting out all the way to the top end, uh, which is right around 110 miles an hour. So you've, you've got a lot of torque on your side. Uh, the bike can be uh, uh, configured with different lighting setups, communications, navigation, that sort of thing. Uh, we'll be integrating some of that for our team when we uh, race this in the Baja 1000 in a couple of weeks. Ooh, this is going to Baja, huh? Yes, sir. Very cool. So this uh, top speed is about 110? Yeah. What engine? It uses a track diesel motors, or a, a, a Mercedes uh, inline three-cylinder turbocharged diesel, 800 cc's. Right, and uh, nice what's- quiet running, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's this bike run? Uh, the bike's, bike's running uh, about 37,000 uh, to, to have it set up for the off-road capabilities. Can right. we talk about the algae fuel? Oh yes, let's talk about that. All right, tell us about the algae fuel. Uh, so we use this bike as a platform for renewable fuel development, uh, working out of a, a project that started at Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Got a bunch of students involved through the University of California, San Diego to make uh, biofuel from algae, run it, demonstrate it, and then show how it actually works in the real world setting. Uh, Sapphire Energy came on board as a sponsor and they've been providing algae-based fuel uh, that's made here domestically in the United States. Uh, and the great thing about algae is that you can produce a significant higher quantity per acre than say corn uh, ethanol. Uh, and you can also do it using uh, excess CO2 and growing it either using uh, seawater or wastewater or a combination. So you're not using farmland, you're not using fresh water. You're actually taking pollution and turning that into renewable fuel that can be produced uh, domestically. Oh, very cool. All right. Thank you very much, Christian. I appreciate it. You are watching DefenseReview.com. Thank you.